Hey everyone, and welcome to the Biochemistry SI Program YouTube channel. I probably sound new. Let me introduce myself. My name's Isabel. I'm the content creator SI for the summer 2023 semester of biochemistry. The semester's videos will be posted on every week on Fridays. I will be covering high yield content, which consists of topics that are frequently tested or required for mastery of the course. Without much further ado, this week's video will cover the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. Chances are, you're a scientist, and you've tried to make a buffer solution, either in an organic chemistry lab or in a research lab. But did you know there was a lot more happening in those solutions than you think? Let me explain. In a solution, the concentration of hydrogen ions, or H+, and hydroxide ions, OH-, play a crucial role in determining its acidity or basicity. When there is a higher concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution, it is considered to be acidic. The presence of hydrogen ions indicates the availability of protons, which can donate or release hydrogen ions to other substances. Acids are substances that can donate hydrogen ions, and the more hydrogen ions present, the stronger the acid. On the other hand, when there is a higher concentration of OH ions in a solution, it is considered basic or alkaline. OH ions can accept hydrogen ions and lower their concentration in the solution. Bases are substances that can accept hydrogen ions, and the more hydroxide ions present, the stronger the base. A buffer is a solution that can resist changes in pH when small amounts of acid or base are added to it. Buffers are usually comprised of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or a weak base and its conjugate acid. The presence of both a weak acid and its conjugate base allows the buffer to maintain a relatively stable pH. For example here, you see hydrogen chloride as the acid and water as the base. HCl as an acid is donating its proton to water. Thus, it will become a chloride ion and water will become H3O+. So the conjugate base for HCl is Cl- and the conjugate acid for water is H3O+. Now, let's apply what we just learned to the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The Henderson-Hasselbalch equation is a formula used to understand the pH of a buffer solution based on the concentrations of acid and conjugate base. And how do you know that you have a buffer here? You have both the weak acid and conjugate base in the solution, the A- and the HA. This is how the equation is written. Here's what each part of it means. pH. This represents the acidity or alkalinity of the solution. It's a measure of the concentration of hydrogen ions, or H+, in the solution. The lower the pH, the more acidic. The higher the pH, the more basic. pKa. This is the negative logarithm of the acid association constant, or Ka, of the acid. It's a measure of how strong the acid is. The lower the pKa, the stronger the acid. I'll explain how to calculate pH and pKa within the next video. A- This represents the concentration of the conjugate base of the acid in the solution. This is also considered to be the deprotonated form of the acid. HA. This represents the concentration of the acid in the solution, which is in the protonated form. One more thing. Buffers are at their best when you have a 1 to 1 ratio of a weak acid to conjugate base. When you have these in equal amounts, this ratio equals 1. I will cover this again in the next video. In the next part of the video, I will explain how to solve one of these problems. Until then, we'll catch you in class.